if you've ever made money in RV transport, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and comment below what the most per mile you've made in RV transport. Do it and like the video. Day one, the first trip with the Hall and Toe. So tune in, don't leave early. This is gonna be fun. So we are walking up to the courthouse where I'll get the Freightliner registered for the 13 ton or the 26,000 plates uh, because there's a little bit of a issue with the windshield to keep it DOT compliant. So I'll show you that in a second. So the first night, without the truck idling all night, uh, with the generator going and a little space heater with, freaking great. I actually had to end up turning it down some, but uh, got a little too warm. And yeah, so we are on our way to Elkhart, get everything, ELD, new book, new plates, all that stuff, get it all set up, and then stay tuned because we will be getting our first haul and load. Shit's getting real. Gotta hook this up right now. And then we're headed to secure our first load. All right, mounting it says, don't place it by any vents. Well, there's fucking vents everywhere. So right in the middle should work. Somewhere in there. Whew. All right, the process continues. Anybody tell me what the purpose of putting these on the side of your trucks for? I mean, I'll keep them, but you need them. Okay, so probably like an hour, an hour and 20 minutes later, everything should be set up right, but she mentioned it may not actually register for 24 hours, maybe at midnight. I don't know. So basically, I'm I'm running normal books um, tonight, and then tomorrow it picks back up. I don't know, uh, but I'm waiting on my email for the BOL. I am heading down to Tyler, Texas, and I got the Central Dispatch side of things set up as well. So hopefully. You're going to see, and maybe multiple videos, I don't know, but you're gonna see the first haul and tow, and then finding some type of cars, essentially to you know, pay that gas money for the trip from Texas back to Iowa. So, there we have it. Sometimes things just happen and it's just a test of your will. 
we have no AC or no heat blowing. So we're going to buy a new blower motor. No fuses are blown. Yeah, so hopefully that's it. It was really easy to take off the cover and unhook and unscrew the blower motor. Uh, that's what my mechanic thinks that it probably is. He told me I could test it somehow, but I'm not that savvy. So I'll just go see if we can't just replace it. And hopefully that works. Here we go. Out of stock, not able to get it until tomorrow morning. So on to the next. Not a single place has it in stock. And so here was my thinking because I'm kind of over it, like go fuck yourself kind of a, you know, mood is I just got off the phone with an O'Reilly's because out of O'Reilly's advance and um, whatever the other one was, um, O'Reilly's was the cheapest out of the three of them. So I ordered it to be delivered at an O'Reilly's that's on the way down to Texas. So, you know, it kind of is what it is. Uh, if I get pulled over and have a DOT inspection at whatever level it is that they, you know, check stuff, I don't know. Um, yeah, failing that one, but fingers crossed. Hopefully we make it. It's not too far away. It's a few hours out and then it allows for a good probably nine hour drive tomorrow, at which point I'll be down in Tyler, Texas to be able to drop off Saturday before noon. So that's the plan. Next time you will see me, it will be in the yard loading up and if this is anything like getting the damn ELD set up, which it isn't set up, it's supposed to wait 24 hours and maybe, you know, it'll click. The damn heater, you should be in for a treat. All right, here we go. Woo! All right, I think this is it. First one, so this one is the, I'm gonna go check the, uh, the VIN, but I am pretty certain that this is our 21 footer and then we have a 19 footer. So we will winch this baby up and then go find the uh, 19 footer because the guy didn't get it staged or whatever. So it's not a big deal. Here we go. All right, so you wait. You put the small one on first. Not the other way around. So we gotta wait for the smaller one to get here. Uh, another guy said that it's on its way. Here it is right here. Guy left the wheel on it and everything. This is gonna be fucking easy. Woo! I'm not gonna hold my breath though. Loaded up, it's like 24 hours later. 
uh, but we got it and my phone died so I just put it on the charger and tried to act like I uh, knew what I was doing so we are hitting the road all right guys more to come wasn't too happy about this <laughs> but I'm getting checked in anyways <laughs> 